<laughs> this is a this is a song from the 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 days before the short attention span set in. And no uh, commercial breaks. <laughs> <laughs> no commercial breaks. It's a uh, this ballad is set on Halloween night, and a young woman called Lady Margaret has heard that there's a place called the Chase's Wood. And it's reported that if a young maid enters the Chase's Wood, she is unlikely to return a maid. And Margaret finds that a very curiously attractive proposition and makes her way to the Chase's Wood. And uh, there she meets a changeling called Tam Lin. She thinks Tam Lin is, is actually an elf, an elven, but he's not. He's a human being. But he's been taken by the elves, and the, their intention is to keep him for seven years. And after the seventh year is up, he is ripe to be sacrificed to the devil. And it's Halloween night on the seventh year. And tonight's the night. So Tam Lin is pretty desperate, and he convinces Margaret that because he's discovered that the spell can be broken. But the only way to break the spell is that a woman has to, to continue to caress him no matter how repulsive he becomes. And so he explains this to her and he says, whatever they turn me into, don't let go of me. I won't hurt you, hold on. And if you can do that, eventually when they run out of transformations, I will turn into a man again and I'll be free. So, uh, I'm not going to tell you whether it worked or not. You'll have to listen to the ballad. <laughs> Tamlin. See you at the end. Come all of you maids, and you very pretty maids, go on and take from me, and don't go down to that chase's wood. If a maid you wish to return and return, if a maid you wish to return, Lady Margaret, Lady Margaret, she was sitting in her bower, she was red as any rose, and she's wont to go to that chase's wood. Pull them flowers that grows and grows, and pull them flowers that grows. So she stayed up her silver comb, made haste to comb her hair, and she's away to that chase's wood. As fast as she could tear and could tear, as fast as she could tear, and she had not pulled but the one red rose, the rose that grew upon the green, when a voice said, Lady, how dare you pull a rose? Without the leave of me, of me, and without the leave of me, well, this little wood, she said, it is my very own. My father has given it to me, and I'll pull up a root, and I'll break a bend a branch. And I won't ask leave of thee, of thee, no, I won't ask leave of thee, but he is taken her by the middle so small, down to where the grass grew so green, and what they done, well, I just couldn't say. For oh, the green leaves they grew between and between, oh, the green leaves they grew between, and he has taken her by the lily white hand, down to where the grass it grew so green, and what they done, well, I just couldn't say. He never once asked her leave, her leave, no, he never once asked her leave. There were four and twenty ladies, they were sitting in the hall, all a playing in the chess, except it was for the young Margaret. And she's green as any grass, any grass, oh, she's green as any grass. And there were four and twenty ladies, they were sitting in the hall, all as red as a rose, except it was for the young Margaret. And pale and one she goes, she goes, oh, pale and one she goes. But up and spoke one of them little girls. On her face was a smile, she said, I think my lady has looked a little long. And now she goes with child, with child, oh, now she goes with child. But 
up and spoke another of them girls a pretty little girl was she she said i know i have grown in the chaser's wood that'll twine that bait from thee from thee that'll twine the bait from thee so margaret she's picked up a silver comb they taste the comb her hair and she's away to that chaser's wood as fast as she could tear and could tear as fast as she could tear Well, she had not pulled but the one bit of hair, the hair that grew upon the lawn, when up and stepped young Tamerlane. He said, Margaret, leave it alone, oh sweetheart, Margaret, leave it alone, oh. Why do you pull the bitter, bitter herb, the herb that grows so grey, except to twine away the pretty little babe that we got in our play, our play, that we got in our play. Well, tell me this, young Tamlin, she said, if a mortal man you be, well, I'll tell you the truth without a word of a lie. I got christened as good as thee, as thee, I got christened as good as thee, but as I rode out on a bitter, bitter day, it's from my horse a bell, and the queen of the elf, and she did take me, in yonder green wood for to dwell, and to dwell, in yonder green wood for to dwell, and Every seventh, seventh year, we pay a toll to hell, the last one here is the first to go, I fear the toll, it's myself, it's myself. Oh, I fear the toll, it's myself. But tonight it is the Halloween, and the elfin horse shall ride. If you would, your true lover say, By the old mill bridge, you must hide, you must hide. By the old mill bridge, you must hide. And first there'll come a black horse, and then there'll come a brown. They'll both race past the white. Throw your arms around my neck. And I will not you a fright, a fright, no, I will not you a fright, but they'll turn me then, and it's all in your arms, too many's a beast so wild, hold me fast and fear me not, I'm the father of your child, oh sweetheart, I'm the father of your child, then the woods grew dark, and the woods grew dim, young Tam Lenny was away, she's picked up her lily white feet, to the mill stream she ran straightway, straightway, to the mill stream she ran straightway. She looked up and she looked down, she compassed all around, she nothing saw, she nothing knew. She had no mortal sound, no sound, oh, she had no mortal sound. About the dead hour of the night, she heard them bridles ring, and it's, it's chilled her heart, it's given her a start. More than any mortal thing, anything, more than any mortal thing. And first there came a black horse, and then there came a brown. They both raced past the white, she threw her arms around his neck. And he didn't have a fright, a fright, no, he didn't have a fright, but the thunder rolled across the sky, the stars they blazed as bright as day, and the queen of the elfin, she gave a chilling cry, she said, young Tamlin, he's away, he's away, oh, young Tamlin, he's away, and they turned him then, it was all in her arms, to a big black dog to bite, she held him fast and she feared him not. And he didn't have a fright, a fright, no, he didn't have a fright, and he turned him bed, it was all in her arms, the bell that roared so wild, she held him fast, and she feared him not, he was the father of her child, she knew he was the father of her child, and he turned him again, it was all in her arms. To a twisting snake, she held him fast and she feared him not. He was one of God's own make, she knew that he was one of God's own make, and they turned him again. It was all in her arms, to a big black ball of iron. She held him fast and she feared him not. And he's done to her no harm, no harm, oh, he's done to her no harm. 
they turned him again. It was all in her arms to a mother naked man. She threw her cloak around his shoulders, cried, Oh, my love, we've won, we've won, cried, Oh, my love, we've won. And the queen of the elephants, oh, she cussed that young Tamlin. Oh, she cussed him good, she said, I should have taken out your eyes, Tamlin, and put into eyes of wood, of wood. I should have put into eyes of wood. And Cusses on you, young Tamlin, she said. You once were my very own. And when you were, I should have torn out your heart. And put in the heart of stone, of stone. I should have put in the heart of stone.